All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to lesson 9.1, adding and subtracting fractions less than one. Follow along on page 286, and the goal is to add and subtract fractions less than one. All right, let's take a look directly from the example in the textbook. The problem is this graph represents destinations of Canadians who traveled within Canada. And we have uh, two-fifths Ontario, one-fourth or a quarter from Western provinces, and a quarter uh, going to Quebec. What fraction, however, we have one blank, what fraction of Canadians who traveled within Canada went to the Atlantic provinces? We don't know that yet. We have to take these fractions, add, and then subtract the difference, and then we'll have our answer. But first, we need to do something. And what's that one thing we need to do? Anybody? Yes. Find a common denominator. So, I've laid everything out here nice. We have one quarter, one quarter, two fifths. We need a common denominator you know, that works out into one fourth, one fourth, two fifths. So, four times five, easy. Four times five, twenty. Twenty is your common denominator that can work here. All right, so how do we get this fraction? We need to multiply it by something to get to a common denominator of 20. Well, we can multiply it into the number here. So let's try that. Let's try that. We can do that. Or we can just write it like this. Now, this is going to work because 5 times 5 is 25. We have to do that times 4. All right, so we can do that times 4 over 4. Either one works, okay? So let's try this one here. You're going to have 5 over 20. Same with this. 5 over 20. 8. 2 times 4 is 8. That's not very good. 8, and that's 20. And that works. So now we will add these together, all right? So 5 20 over 20 plus 5 over 20 plus 8 over 20. And this will give you 18 over 20. Now, obviously the whole here now, remember we said every fraction is less than 1, but the whole here is 20 over 20. 20. I'll explain that more in class. But we have from these fractions 18 over 20. So what do we have to do? If this is the whole, this is now, with these are equivalent fractions, I'll explain that in a few seconds. Okay, we made these equivalent fractions. So now what we have to do is take this, okay, over to here it goes, and subtract it. Now we already have a common denominator, okay? So the whole is 20 over 20, or 1, you know. Um, so 18 from 20 is 2 over 20. Now we want to make this, we want to simplify that. We want to um, want to simplify it. We want to put it as lowest terms. So lowest terms to uh, 2 over 20 is 1, 10. So the number of Canadians who traveled within Canada and went to the Atlantic provinces is one-tenth. All right? So that's how we get to this number by adding these, finding the common denominator, and then subtracting from the whole. Because now that we've made the common denominator 20, the whole number, 1, would equal 20 over 20. And again, I'll explain that more when we get into class, okay? So pause when you need to, and uh, and then and get some good notes and write these down, okay? Pause, go back, review, do what you need to do, and uh, we will explain a bit more in class. Now one thing, one last thing, um, this is again direct from the textbook, so copy this down, and if you don't want to pause the screen and copy it, copy from the textbook as well. One last thing, when a fraction is written as an equivalent fraction with a numerator and a denominator that are lower numbers, we say that the equivalent fraction is in lower terms. 
if there is no way to write a fraction in even lower terms we say that the fraction is in lowest terms or simplest form we call it simplifying as I said earlier so let's take this for example 12 over 24 can be written 6 over 12 6 over 12 but the lowest term is 1 half 12 is half of 24 that's the lowest term 1 half is 12 over 24 in lowest terms all right so copy these down take everything down take down the examples uh, and we will work together on a couple of questions in class all right any questions anybody no okay good all right thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon